Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Did this analysis on Friday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made. First thing I am going to do, though, is some house cleaning and go ahead and get rid of these lines. Yes, these levels still pertain. They're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere you look. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible going forward. The first update, though, that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So first key level on any sort of attempted bounce as the week plays out is now going to be right up there at that red line represented by three dollars and 67 cents so again near term level of resistance 367 the other level you want to keep a close eye on is that purple line there the 50 period moving average that's currently valued at 369 but keep in mind that's a moving average so that value is going to decrease as the week plays out uh, but as of right now 367 is priority number one from the resist resistance side uh, of things but really the, the key priority is just making sure and it's off to a good start uh, you know, being that the price did finally just start to go sideways. Uh, but the last thing you don't you want to see is, you know, for this to all of a sudden break to the downside. So really priority number one is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance, but if anything, at least just trying to go sideways because sideways represents that this very well could be, you know, the, the bottom of, uh, quite frankly, a pretty rough morning. And I realize, realize I state the obvious when I say that, uh, but to also give credit, like I said, at least the price did finally start to go sideways. So you wanna see at least that continue. Um, of course, you know, having the price, you know, rip back to the upside uh, would be that much quicker of proof that, yeah, this is some sort of bottom forming. Uh, but you know, if, if that price movement can continue, that would be a, a good step in the right direction. If the price does pull back more, then the key level to watch now is gonna be right there at $3.57, which is the level of support I've talked about in previous videos. Last time the price got down there, actually had a very nice bounce from that area. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if the price goes down there, then it's guaranteed to bounce back to the upside. But the point is it has before, so it's at least a valid can, uh, a valid observation. Say, huh, I wonder if maybe some sort of bounce could occur from that point again. But from the overall charting perspective, 357 definitely very important because you don't want, with a break below there, and as you see at that point, that's starting to put the price back at levels that haven't been seen, uh, you know, for a, a few weeks now. But overall, good news is the week is young, still four days left. But yeah, definitely not the greatest way to start off the week. Before you go real quick, I'm not going to give you some fancy sales pitch. All I'll say is that if you found this video helpful, then I'm very confident you will find this live and free web class that I put together beneficial. So if you're interested in learning more or getting signed up, go to claycharter.com forward slash live or see the link in the description area below. It really is live. There's a question and answers at the end. It's very interactive. So if you have any questions, let me know. If not, I hope to see you there.